Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I'm going to show you a couple ways to make your 50cc scooter a lot better, a lot more rideable, and a lot less like a toy. Already this scooter has an upgraded carburetor and I'll show you guys that today. Um, and it also has a aftermarket variator with different weights in it. But I did get some new weights that I'm going to throw in and I'll show you guys how to do that and show you why I picked the variator weights that I did. So I'm going to show you the carburetor first that I have. I'll have it linked in the description so you guys can go check it out. I also did another video on this carburetor. So I'll put a banner somewhere around me where you guys can go check that out because it was our most viewed video actually. Basically to get at your carburetor on these 50cc Tau Tau or like Kimco scooters, it's super easy. Um, they do have an access panel in the seat and you can just lift that out, but it's a little bit easier actually to take the entire thing out. So this entire bucket will come out so you have a lot of workspace. What you'll need for this specific application, it might be a little different on yours, but ours is like a 10 mil and a Phillips head screwdriver. So here's the carburetor. This is the aftermarket one I got. It's identical to the stock one other than the pod filter. And this one supposedly, I don't know for sure. I never actually checked, but it says on Amazon that this one has a bigger jet in it. The stock carburetor in here that we had, there was a lot of questions in the comments on that video that we did with this. And they asked, is that even aftermarket? And I do believe it is. A lot of people say that the top speed that we got on this with this is the same as what they get. And that leads me to believe it's not too much of a change in jet sizes, um, if at all. So I'm not sure if it's actually a performance one. The only difference that is performance is the filter. So that will make a difference in theory. More air in, more air out with the aftermarket exhaust on here, more power. This carburetor, it does run really good. Might be something you want to check out. You're going to end up taking off your stock air box. And I, I think personally that's more satisfying than anything else with this pod filter. You get more noise out of it. Sounds cooler. So. Stock airbox, out of the question, get that out of there. All right, now that you've seen that, we're gonna move on to the variator and the variator weights, and I'll show you guys how to do that. To get at your variator, you just need an eight mil, and that should take off the cover. Super easy to take off this cover. You just undo all of these eight mil bolts that hold this black cover on. Once you get the cover off, you have your variator in here. What we're gonna do is end up taking this off. So this is a 17, I believe, I'm pretty sure. Super easy. Then you're gonna have a couple things on here that you wanna keep in line. Then you can take your belt off, nice and easy. And then your variator. This should come out. You wanna hold it kinda at the back because this will come out. So then this cover will come off, right? So this is the aftermarket variator that I put on here already. And those are the roller weights that are in there. I'm just going to get rid of these all together. I'm not exactly sure what weight those are. I don't remember for certain. Also, these little plastic dealers are really easy to lose, so just pay attention and don't lose them. I have some slider weights. These are different than the roller weights. They sit in there a little different. When you're putting these weights in, these ones are weird shaped. So you can see how they have like a point to them, a flat side. What you're gonna wanna do with these ones specifically, the logo is gonna go up. It's gonna face up. So these ones were $10 on Amazon. They're a little cheaper. There is a Dr. Pulley option. A lot of people go with the Dr. Pulley ones just because it's like the name brand for these slider weights. They're probably really high quality, but I'm assuming these are probably okay too. And I don't know if you would notice a difference in them. What I did end up buying though, uh, these are five gram weights. I think that's gonna help me with with initial takeoff. So a lower weight, lower weight weight is gonna help it rev faster sooner so you take off quicker. And that's kind of what I'm going for. Top speed, without a big bore kit and a 50cc four stroke, you're, you're gonna be around 40 to 45 depending on how much you weigh. And I'm 200 pounds, so I'm probably not gonna hit 45. I did hit 41 in this thing with the old weights. I bet I'll go a little bit slower with these, but it'll be more fun. It'll be more, you know, it'll feel like there's more oomph in it, low end, and that's kind of what I want. So installing it, same thing, just in reverse order. So it's super easy. While I'm in here, I'm gonna just replace the belt anyway. I did replace it when I got the scooter last year. So this belt's probably okay. Get yourself a Kevlar reinforced one if you can. If not, this one I'm gonna link in the description. I just picked it up because I know I'm gonna be inside the scooter again eventually. So easy peasy, slip the belt in. Don't lose a finger while doing it. And then putting it back together, just going in reverse order, super simple. Put everything back on. 
Then you just put your cover back on. These are a little bit tricky to do, so it just takes some finagling. Try not to be impatient while you're doing it. Give yourself the time and don't get frustrated because you will get frustrated with these covers. I've never actually been able to put one on nice the first time, so. That was actually pretty slick. Not bad. Is that your kickstart? Is that the technical term? Yes, is that, that is. Thing? That is my kicker thing, yes. <laughs> what we're gonna do now is take it on a test run and see if I can tell a difference. Now, if you guys wanna see what this thing did before, I would suggest going to watch the video with the carburetor and you'll get a good idea of how fast it goes. Somebody did ask me to tape my phone to my scooter so they could see the top speed? Ask and you shall receive. I ain't putting tape on my brand new phone. What are you, crazy? No way, I'm gonna put it in my pocket. I will record the top speed for you. The last top speed was 41 miles an hour. I can tell you the top speed before was 41 miles an hour, so we will see if there is a difference. If it goes faster than 41 or slower than 41, I'm gonna be recording it on my phone and you guys will see that. We're gonna put the seat back in uh, to do that. Reverse order of what you guys saw earlier. Super easy, four bolts. Um, so yeah, let's go ride this thing. We went a lot slower. All right, so the top speed was actually 32 miles an hour, and I hear there's a rule on slider weights where whatever number you pick, minus one. So actually, four gram weights. I don't think that's enough for this scooter. We lost 10 miles an hour, really, overall top speed. I would get these weights again, but I would get them heavier. Let's head back to the shop. I don't like these weights at all. <laughs> they're, they're probably just fine for some people, but uh, it didn't do it for me. I'm gonna need a heavier weight, I think. What I'm gonna do is, like I said, order those other weights and go from there. So you guys have given me some video ideas and I was gonna go over some of the comments on our most popular video that's kind of part of this video. So if you guys have the 49cc scooter, go check that one out. Some of the comments I, that I thought were funny, I'm just gonna read them. Vince Hoffman. <laughs> He said, I'm amazed this channel hasn't blown up yet. Vince, I agree. I appreciate that comment, it feels good. JP Ministries left a comment and says, the title should be called, How Quickly to Wear Out a 49cc Engine. It's not gonna wear it out, I'm just riding it. You should have put Dr. Pulley roller weights on. Way better, all rounds are trash. I agree. Murder mass, I will be putting on the correct weights in the next video, along with that CDI box. Scott Brown, with fuel prices going sky high, you guys should gain a huge number of subscribers by doing a focused four-part series on de-restriction of a 49cc scooter. Uh, the basic stuffs to get your scooter improved enough just to be usable, which is why I was making this video in the first place. Scott Brown, great idea, that's what we're doing. If you guys like this video, comment, hit that like button, smash that thingy, tap it a couple times, rub up against it, you know what to do. If you do wanna leave a comment, let me know other things you'd like to see done to a 50cc scooter. I'm willing to do just about everything. I probably won't go as far as a big board kit. I wanna keep it a 50cc to see what we can squeeze out of it. So if you guys have, any, have other ideas, let me know, put that in the comments. I'm gonna link everything we used here today in the description. I would suggest not getting the five Five gram weights I would I'm probably gonna get like an eight or a nine other than that we appreciate you thank you for watching go watch those other videos they're gonna be like right here